Today's morning devotional. Christ glorified in his people. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. John chapter 16 verse 33. Christ did not fail, neither was he discouraged, and his followers are to manifest a faith of the same enduring nature. They are to live as he lived, and work as he worked, because they depend on him as the great master worker. Courage, energy, and perseverance they must possess. Though apparent impossibilities obstruct their way, by his grace they are to go forward. Instead of deploring difficulties, they are called upon to surmount them. They are to despair of nothing, and to hope for everything. With the golden chain of his matchless love Christ has bound them to the throne of God. It is his purpose that the highest influence in the universe, emanating from the source of all power, shall be theirs. They are to have power to resist evil, power that neither earth, nor death, nor hell can master, power that will enable them to overcome as Christ overcame. Christ designs that heaven's order, heaven's plan of government, heaven's divine harmony, shall be represented in his church on earth. Thus in his people he is glorified. Through them the sun of righteousness will shine in undimmed luster to the world. Christ has given to his church ample facilities, that he may receive a large revenue of glory from his redeemed, purchased possession. He has bestowed upon his people capabilities and blessings that they may represent his own sufficiency. The church, endowed with the righteousness of Christ, is his depository, in which the riches of his mercy, his grace, and his love are to appear in full and final display. Christ looks upon his people in their purity and perfection, as the reward of his humiliation, and the supplement of his glory Christ, the great center, from whom radiates all glory. Christ had finished the work that was given him to do. He had glorified God on the earth. He had manifested the Father's name. He had gathered out those who were to continue his work among men. And he said, I am glorified in them. And now I am no more in the world, but these are in the world, and I come to thee. Holy Father, keep through thine own name those whom thou hast given me, that they may be one, as we are. Thus in the language of one who has divine authority, Christ gives his elect church into the Father's arms. As a consecrated high priest he intercedes for his people. As a faithful shepherd he gathers his flock under the shadow of the Almighty, in the strong and sure refuge. For him there awaits the last battle with Satan, and he goes forth to meet it.